Annie Banfield is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $6,000 today on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is, if you squeeze them, you'll make them whine. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Wallery. Welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home View Award was sent in by Penny Phillips. She's from Northeast Pennsylvania. I guess that's opposed to Southwest Pennsylvania. And uh, we have a T-shirt for you, Penny. Today, the jackpot in our bonus stands at 6000 waiting for somebody to knock that off and get a chance at that later on. Charlie has her first two players. She's our champion. He's a professional pianist. From San Diego, California, Annie Banfield. And from San Diego, California, Brian Verhoy. All right, everybody's from San Diego. Hi, Annie. Hi, Chuck. Welcome back. Thank you. She has 2,500 doing all right for a day's okay. work. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Um, I work in San Diego, and I live there with my wonderful boyfriend, Terry. And um, I like to sing and and sleep a lot, actually, because I'm up so late at night cocktailing. <laughs> Is that right? I have. I've, has, I've slept seven hours in the last two days. Oh, that's not very much. No, I'm pretty nervous no. waiting for the show. Well, but. What kind of music do you sing? Um, I sing rock. I sing a lot different than I talk. I sing very low, kind of like... Um, you sing, I sing... Sing a couple of bars of something for me, if you don't mind. I'd like to hear that. Sweet dreams are made of... See, these. I mean, how does that happen? <laughs> it comes out of here. Now, Annie, everybody's going to think, along with me, that you're making this up, being on the show. That doesn't sound like anything that you sound like, does well, it? I can change my voice. Really? Mm, but this is Obviously my normal voice. Obviously, you can change it. Good <laughs> yeah. night. Well, welcome to the Annie Banfield Show, and we'll be back in just a minute. Anyway, it's nice to have you here, Annie. Thank Good you. luck to you. Hi, Brian. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself, Brian. Well, I'm a professional pianist. I've been playing all my life, just about. I'm classically trained, and I enjoy playing classical music mostly. But hey, would you sing a couple bands. of bars for us? Not a trained okay. singer, sorry. <laughs> um, probably my most interesting job I've ever had was taking part in the Super Bowl halftime show last year with oh, the 88 you get to do pianos. That? Yes, I was oh, part that's of that. Great. Quite a thrill. That's great, thrilling. Yeah. Nice to have you here. Thanks. You're the challenge. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Chance the bonus sprint. Uh, possible $6,000 today. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. Building on the letter I, eight letters in the word, Brian. Clue is they always wait till the sun goes down before they start drinking. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares because they're worth money. They always wait till the sun goes down before they start drinking. Okay, don't have an idea yet. Let's take the six and the one. U and a V. Let's try the U. It's a stopper. Annie? I have no idea, so I'll take the four. A P and a V. Um, place the P. They always wait till the sun goes down before they start drinking. Oh, I think I know it, so place the V for $500. That's right. Is it vampires? Yes. Don't be afraid, the sun is still up. One, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. Okay, Brian, building on the letter I and vampires, seven letters in the word. The clue is, how you gonna keep them down on the farm? How you gonna keep them down on the farm? Okay, let's try the one and the nine. You or an R or R or you? How about the R? How are you going to keep them down on the farm, Brian? Don't have an idea yet. Let's place the U. Stop her, Annie. Um, I'm going to have to take two towels. I'll take the two and the six. V and a P. Um, I'll place the P. If I'm not incorrect, that was exactly the last selection she had. Is that right? A P and a V? Oh, well, Brian, that one didn't work. How are you going to keep them down on the farm is the clue. Don't know yet. Let's add a seven. V or an L. Place the V. Just don't know yet. Let's place the L. Well, that's a stopper. That's all three of them. Annie, do you know what this is? I have no idea. Hands on your buzzer. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give the last letter. It's up to you. 
How are you going to keep them down on the farm? Ready? Go. How are you going to keep them down on the farm? Annie. Is it gravity? That yeah, certainly is. It's gravity. <laughs> I'm sweet. I'm not tough. Well, I didn't mean it in the meaning of that you were tough, tough. Just mean tough. Well, I, I'm sure you're very sweet. One, two, two three, three, four, four five hundred. There you go. <laughs> tough as an adversarial. That's right. Brian. That's right. It's two to zip. Building on the letter G and gravity. Eight letters in the word. The clue is... <laughs> he had bad breath. He had bad breath. He had bad breath. And I'll give you $500 if you can tell me who he is. He had bad breath. Just don't know yet. I won't, can't take a guess. Let's place the four and the six. L and an A. Place the A for me. Well, that's worth $500, too. He had bad breath. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, place the L. Still don't know it, Chuck. Uh, two more tiles. The seven and the three. Z and an F. Place the Z, please. Okay, I believe the F's a stopper. Godzilla. That's exactly right. I don't know who did the research on that, but anyway... Uh, <laughs> We've run out of time in this game. I'm going to play the rest in speed word. I've already told you about your hands on your buzzers and stuff like that, so let's continue. Building on the letter I in Godzilla, there are six letters in this word. The clue is sometimes it happens when push comes to shove. Brian's trying to tie it up, and he's going for the game. Sometimes it happens when push comes to shove. Ready? Go. Sometimes it happens when push comes to shove. I knew you wouldn't get this one. I don't know why. Shiner? Shiner, oh, okay. No. Oh, I like that. Shiner. Well, I mean, I mean. <laughs> you know what a shiner is? Sure. Black you know what it is? Black guy. That's right, yeah. Push comes to shine. Well, let's go. Building on the letter S in Shiner. Shiner, or. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Will, nothing personal. Uh, building on the letter S in Shiner. Six letters in the word. The clue is he's totally radical. Ready? Go. He's totally radical. Brian. Castro. That's right. $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. I made you some money. Talk to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Yeah. Anybody's game. Good luck to both of you. Building on the letter M, eight letters in the word, and the clue is swingers use them. Ready? Go. Swingers use them. Swingers use them. Annie. Is it hammock? That's exactly right. Oh. Got you. Well, Brian, thousand dollars isn't too bad. Yeah, thanks for playing thanks, the game. Sir. We enjoyed having you. Real close, a good game. And uh, Annie's just uh, winging along there. She's up to four thousand dollars, making all kinds of dough. Congratulations, Sheila. Play Scrabble Sprint right after this. She'll establish the time. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Annie Banfield has $4,000. Doing real well. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. What are you going to do with all this, though? Run I don't around? know. $4,000 is a lot of money. Maybe a uh, down payment for a car. That'd be good. I have an awful car. Oh, do you? <laughs> it's terrible. What kind is it? It's 10 years old. It's a... Hmm. It breaks down about every six months. <laughs> well, that'll certainly help our it trade deficit. Young. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> you go. Uh, going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to try to beat that time. And uh, remember to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Ready? Ready. Go. S. M. Mr. Ed. E. E. Mr. Ed. Me. Yes. Second word, six letters. 
It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Ready? Ready. Go. L. G. N. It's the right thing to do. Y. I. It's the right thing to do. Flying. Yes, like all around the world. Not easy. Third word, eight letters. He's a man on the run. He's a man on the run. Ready? Ready. Go. R. N. P. He's a man on the run. R. T. Sprinter? Yes. The last word has nine letters. A shoemaker. A shoemaker. Ready? Ready. Go. H. R. M. A shoemaker. E. O. Floor shine. Yes, very excited that you get that one. It's not a common, you know, shoemaker for women, so that's good. Well, it seemed like it was a little long, didn't it? It did. Yeah, well, you never know. They might have been very tough. I can't tell. 34.3 is the time, and we'll see if it holds up right after this. Stay with us. champion. She's one of the reasons we fought the big war. Keep these folks out of communist hands right here. Uh, we have two new contestants. Charlie's got it. Charlie. She's a party manager. He's a camera assistant. Originally from Canton, Ohio, Ella Fields. And originally from Newport, Rhode Island, Richard Kelly. All right. Nice to have you both with us. How are you, Ella? Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. I'm a party manager for, for one of the catering companies here in the Los Angeles area, uh -huh. and we do the Hollywood parties. Oh, do you really? Yeah. And I'm married to a most wonderful man. How lucky for you. Yeah. Well, that's nice. And for him, too, I'm sure. Yeah. Nice Thank to have you here, Ella. Thanks. Good luck to you. And uh, Richard, tell me about yourself. Well, Chuck, I'm a camera assistant. I enjoy doing aerial cinematography the most. And I'm planning on being married later this year with a contestant, with um, my fiance Lindsay Caldwell, who was a contestant with you just right last year on the show. Oh, I'll be darned. Well, congratulations. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you very much. Who won the toss backstage? I did. Let's go to the board. <laughs> Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word, and the clue is it's usually described as fancy. It's usually described as fancy. Yes. Okay, number eight. And number six. S and an N. The N, please. Okay, the S, please. First position in the word worth $500. It's usually described as fancy. Ooh, I don't know it yet. I'll take two more towels. Number five. And number four. U and an M. The U, please. No, stop her. Over to you, Richard. Well, Chuck, I still don't see it, so I think I'll take the seven tile. T the or T. an M. The T, please. It's usually described as fancy. I still don't see it, Chuck. Place the M, please. Four in a row. I still don't see it, so I'll take the nine and the 11. W or a T? It's usually described as fancy. The T, please. Stopper. Ella, back to you. Hmm, I'll Only take one the number, stopper left. The number 10. W or an H? The H, please. It's usually described as fancy. I don't know this. The W, please. That's all three of them. You know what it is, Richard? No, I'm afraid I all don't, All right, Chuck. hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's usually described as fancy. Ready? Go. Richard. Schmatzy. No? Uh, Ella? Spancy. What? Oh, what? Spancy. <laughs> That's right. That's what it is. <laughs> see. Fancy spancy. <laughs> fancy spancy. Yes. Have you ever heard that expression? Yes, that's why it's so Billion silly. times, but you never, it would never come to mind. That was a very difficult puzzle, it really was. Okay, Richard, building on the letter C in schmancy, six letters in the word. The clue is they often get lit at lodge meetings. They often get lit at lodge meetings. Well, I still don't see it, Chuck, so I don't see it. Place the seven and the eight, please. 
L and an M. Place the M, please. Over to you, Ella. They mm. often get lit at lodge meetings. Okay, I'll take the number six. L and an R. The L, please. Well, stopper two, Richard. Well, there's only the two stoppers out, so I'll take the five. Chance for a thousand here, S and an R. The S, please. They usually get lit at lodge meetings. The R, please. I still don't see it. Let's take the two and the one. G and an A. The A, please. It's worth $1,000. They usually uh, get lit at lodge meetings. For $1,000, I think it's cigars. That's right. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Richard talks more about not knowing what it is than anybody I've ever had on the show. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I don't know what it is, so I don't know what it is, and I don't know what it is, so I'll guess it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. There you go. <laughs> that means we're out of time for the round. Going to play the rest in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. Building on the letter S in cigars, nine letters in the word, and the clue is... He hasn't had a sick day in 40 years. Oh, gee, many guys. Oh, he hasn't had a sick day in 40 years. Oh, Four macabre each, sense huh? of humor. Ready? 40 years. Thank you. Ready? Go. He hasn't had a sick day in 40 years. Richard? Mussolini? That's right. <laughs> oh, gee, many. Is that acceptable on television? I, yeah. The poor guy's been dead. Well, I guess he's not a poor guy. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, Richard going for the game. Ella's trying to tie it up. Building on the letter I and Mussolini. Six letters in the word the clue is. <laughs> Sometimes you can see them crawling across the kitchen floor. Ready? Go. Sometimes you can see them crawling across the kitchen floor. Ella? Baby! Yes, yes, that's right. Perhaps I didn't mention this, but I'm going to, going to have a baby, as a matter of fact, yes. You heard that at the beginning of the show today. Building on the letter A in babies, anybody's game, good luck. Six letters in the word, the clue is, he likes expensive suits. Ready? Go. He likes expensive suits. He likes expensive suits. Richard. Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette probably does, but uh, Ella, you know what it is? Liar! That's right. That's it. Thousand to Richard. No, thanks, thanks, Richard. Thank you, Jeff. And Ella's got uh, five hundred dollars, and she's going to play Scrabble Sprint right after this. Some of today's participants will receive Sure Grip, Chinon's dust proof binoculars, designed to be shock resistant, covered with a rubberized surface for a Sure Grip and a slick look. Sure Grip binoculars furnished by Chinon. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Okay, Annie Banfield, 34.3 is the time. Ella Field's going to try to beat it. Same four words. Mind you, hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock and no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good, Ella. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. First word, five letters. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Ready? Yes. Go. S. E. M. Mr. Ed. E. Me. Yes. Second word, six letters. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Ready? Yes. Go. L. G. Y. It's the right thing to do. F. Lying! Yeah. The third word has eight letters. He's a man on the run. He's a man on the run. Ready? Yes. Go. R. P. T. S. He's a man on the run. Richard! Yes. 9.9 .9 seconds left for the last word. Nine letters. A shoemaker. A shoemaker. Ready? Yes. Go. H. R. I. A shoemaker. E. L. A shoemaker. 
M. Oh, she made it. She made it. Congratulations, oh, Annie. I didn't know it was working. Well, thank you. Love shaking your beer, so to speak. Oh, thanks, Annie. Well, Ella, it was tough. Those were tough, couple words, and I thought you have five hundred dollars in our thanks. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Enjoy having you on the show. Annie's going to come back with her five grand. So I have six right after this. Stay with us. $6,000. There you go, kiddo. Good luck. I hope you win this. Me too. <laughs> First word has six letters. She has sandy hair. She has sandy hair. No. She has sandy hair. She has sandy hair. Ready? Ready. Go. Duncan. Yes, that's a little bit. 9.4 seconds. Now, uh, you can get this. 9.4 seconds. Just listen real closely. All right. Seven letters. Okay. They've gone underground. They've gone underground. 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 Ready? Ready. Go. N. Tunnel. Yes, it's 7.3. That's a great time. Good for you. You're welcome. That's great. All right. Well, then I recognize you from someplace. You were a contestant not too long ago. Uh, she got the dough. I didn't throw it. She, she didn't throw it. I did. Uh, yeah, she got the money. You did kind of choke a little bit. I remember that. Yeah, but up to uh, what? Gosh, what? $11,000. Doing great. Congratulations, Danny. That's all the time we have. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down, guys. Scramble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scramble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scramble is a Red Grundy production.